This crybaby version of Nick Saban that we've been seeing over the last year or so is really getting sad to see. And let me head off some of the comments right here at the very beginning. Yes, Nick Saban is the greatest college football coach of all time, period. There's really no even, there's not even really an argument, debate, or discussion that you can have about whether or not that is true. He is the greatest college football coach of all time. All right, so let's just get that out of the way uh, because I know that's the first thing uh, these gump nut huggers are going to be down there typing. So yeah, that's true. That doesn't mean that nothing he's ever done or said or no decision he's ever made or no interview he's ever given or no opinion he's ever put forward is wrong. Is, is, is wrong. Uh, this latest thing where Alabama and Nick Saban are backtracking away from the nine-game SEC schedule in favor of instead an eight-game SEC schedule is pitiful, pathetic, piss poor, and sad. And as a fan of college football, it's it, it's tough to see Nick Saban this way. It really is. It, it you know you want to go back to the end of last year when he showed up on Fox to beg the playoff committee to put a ten and two Alabama into the playoffs who didn't win their division lost to the two toughest teams they played, had no quality wins at all. Their best win was what, Ole Miss or something? I mean, it was just, it was sad. It was sad. But what he's doing now is even worse. If you haven't been paying attention, the SEC is very close to deciding whether they're going to uh, stay with an eight-game schedule after conference expansion. Texas and Oklahoma are joining the SEC next year. So obviously schedules are going to change. Divisions are going away. We know that. And so there's a debate inside the SEC. Should we remain at an eight-game conference schedule, which they've had for years, or go to a nine-game conference schedule? The majority of SEC teams want a nine-game conference schedule. Nick Saban was in that camp six months ago. He wanted it. He was advocating for a nine-game conference schedule. Nick Saban's on record advocating for a 12-game Power 5 schedule, that you should play nine or ten conference games, and the other two games on your schedule, two or three games on your schedule, should be Power 5 teams. Now, keep in mind, he's never once scheduled that. He just thinks it's a good idea. There's nothing stopping Nick Saban and Alabama from scheduling 12 Power 5 opponents right now. The only thing stopping them is Nick Saban. It's real easy to come out and say you're in favor of something, but then not do it when it's time for the rubber to hit the road. And he's doing it again with this eight versus nine conference game schedule going forward starting next year in the SEC. And his reasoning is fucking sad. There was a leaked uh, uh, potential schedule put forward a few months ago. If the SEC goes to a nine game schedule, it's been believed that it would be a 366 model. I went in depth in a, a, about this in a video yesterday. You would play nine conference games a year. Three of those games would be the same every year. In other words, you'd take your three rivals, your three most important games, whatever. Each SEC team would be assigned three permanent games a year. You then would play an additional six SEC teams, right? The following year, you'd play those same three teams you play every year and the other six teams in the SEC that you didn't play the year before. That way, you're playing every team in the SEC every two years. It makes the most sense. In fact, that's the problem. It makes too much sense. Well, a schedule was leaked that said under that scheduling model, the most likely opponents for Alabama would be Auburn, Tennessee, and LSU. All three of those make sense. Obviously, Auburn, uh, Alabama and Auburn, the Iron Bowl. Obviously, Tennessee and Alabama, probably the third best or biggest rivalry um, in the SEC behind Auburn, uh, Bama, and Georgia, Florida. The third one, Bama and LSU. While not a traditional rival in the in, in the in the sense of uh, you know a hundred years old or something, over the last twenty five or thirty years, it's been a pretty good rival. It's been one of the bigger games in the SEC every single year. Those three games made sense to literally everybody that looked at that schedule, except Nick Saban. Uh, his excuse: he doesn't want to have to play those three teams every year. He says that's not fair. He says those three teams are all good right now. Why should we have to play those three teams every year? Now, keep in mind that Alabama has been playing those state, those three teams, Auburn, 
Tennessee, and LSU every single year since the day Nick Saban took that job at Alabama. Hell, Bama's been playing those three teams for 30 years, every single year. And what has Nick Saban done in his time at Alabama? The Alabama fans will be happy to remind you. Five, six national titles. I mean, at one point he won five national titles in 10 years. He was winning an average of, an, of a national title every other year while playing those same three teams. Now, when Bama was on that run from the late 2000s to the, you know, to, to 2020, if you want to call it that, right? Was Nick Saban out complaining that Tennessee was in the toilet? No. Uh, was Nick Saban out complaining that Auburn was terrible two out of every three years during the time that he's been playing Auburn? No. Was Nick Saban out complaining that LSU was terrible when they were busy missing bowl games under Ed Orgeron? No. No. He didn't care about fairness or equality then, but now Tennessee has an off year where they're good, might be good again this year. LSU won the West last year. Auburn has brought in a coach that has proven he can beat Nick Saban and Hugh Freeze, and now it's not fair that Alabama has to play those three teams every year. This is absolutely ridiculous, and what really bugs me about Bama fans is their inability to criticize their own. People can say whatever they want about me about being a Georgia fan, a Georgia home, or whatever you want to say. There is not a soul on the internet who is tougher or harder on Georgia when they deserve it than Uncle Lou. I've got, I don't even know how many videos criticizing Kirby Smart, and he's the best coach in college football today. Doesn't mean he's perfect. He's made some boneheaded decisions. He said some boneheaded things. Georgia has made stupid decisions. Georgia has lost games they shouldn't lose. I don't come out here and pretend it doesn't happen. It just blows my mind that the Alabama fans can sit around and watch Nick Saban deteriorate into a puddle of his own piss and tears. Right in front of our eyes over the last couple of years, it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Now, let's pretend that Nick Saban is even right or on the right track by complaining and crying that Alabama might have to play Tennessee, LSU, and Auburn. His complaint is, how's that going to be fair if we've got to play... Nick Saban's quote is, two of those three teams are national title contenders. Let me explain something to you, Nick. The SEC is about to go to 16 teams, okay? Included in that 16 are going to be Bama, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, LSU, Texas A&M, Texas, Oklahoma. That's half the conference that has the ability to win a national title. I'm not saying Texas A&M is fixing to win a national title. You don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Or Texas or Oklahoma or Florida or whatever. Those are half the conference, okay, that is proven in modern times that they can be really, really good. Really, really good. So even if you're playing Tennessee, LSU, and Auburn every year, or even if you're not, let's say, hell, we'll, eat, we'll pick, let's say Georgia. Now, this isn't the case. Georgia's going to play, if this happens, Georgia's going to play Florida every year. They're going to play Auburn every year and one other team. We don't know yet who that might be. Maybe South Carolina, maybe Kentucky, whatever. <clears throat> but let's say for a second that this schedule comes out, and every year Georgia has to play Vandy, Kentucky, and South Carolina, okay? Which I will admit are three lower-tier teams in the SEC. Let's just say that's the case. And Alabama every year has got to play LSU, Auburn, and Tennessee. Oh, you know, the three boogeymen. Let's just pretend that's the case, okay? That's only three of the nine SEC teams you have to play. So... In a year where Alabama has to play Tennessee, LSU, and Auburn, that means they're also going to get to play six other teams like Vandy, Kentucky, South Carolina, Mizzou, Ole Miss, and Arkansas. If that's the case, you play three good teams out of nine. Now take Georgia, on the other hand, who under this scenario would be playing Kentucky, Vandy, and South Carolina. Okay, their other six games might include Tennessee. LSU, Auburn, oh my God, the same three teams you have to play. Plus, uh, Texas, Oklahoma, and Texas A&M. It would even out anyway, dummy. If those were the only three teams you were playing, 
And the, and, and then the only three teams Georgia was playing was Vandy, South Carolina, Kentucky. You might have a point. But we're talking about nine fucking games, you idiot. Over a you can't pick out a nine game SEC schedule. Once Texas and Oklahoma come into the league, you can't pick out a nine game schedule that's that's not going to include two or three national title contenders. You moron? What is wrong with you? This constant crying lately from Nick Saban, I don't understand. It's like a Benjamin Button thing where he's aging in reverse and he's slowly turning into Dabo Swinney. Every time somebody sticks a microphone in front of Nick Saban's face, he's got to cry into it. This is pitiful. Nobody feels sorry for an Alabama team who's won five or six national titles in the last 15 years playing Tennessee, Auburn, and LSU every year. No one feels sorry for you that you might have to continue to play those teams. Oh, well, if Georgia had to play out a family schedule. Yeah, what a shame it would be if over the last 15 years, Georgia had to beat up on the Mississippi schools, Arkansas, and Texas A&M. What, oh my God, Georgia would be lucky to go 500 playing those teams. I swear to God, y'all are fucking dumb.